بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله There's no mystery that we are all in need of the ni'am ni'am Allah the, the, the blessings the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we're in need of his protection and his support and this is why we have in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a beautiful example of how to seek refuge from losing the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the protection of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala and from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma عن عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله تعالى عنهما قال كان من دعاء رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم إني أعوذ بك من زوال نعمتك وتحول عافيتك وفجاءة نقمتك وجميع سخاتك أخرجه مسلم. In this hadith in Sahih Muslim. which is the du'a of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam in the hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhumah he said, he narrated the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam supplicated in these words O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from the withdrawal of your blessing and the change of your protection and from the sudden wrath of yours and from every displeasure of yours. In this beautiful dua of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, we see that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam exemplified the beautiful manners of dua. And the mu'min should always strive in their supplications, first and foremost, it's ta'zim, it's tawheed. So here, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam began, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika. He said, Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from min zawal ni'matika, from the removal of your blessings. So this is tawheed, ahabat fillah. This is calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we don't go to the graves and call to the inhabitants of the graves. We don't call to our dead ancestors. We don't call to, upon our sheikhs that are living or deceased, even uh, especially if they have no power to fulfill whatever we are asking them for. So when you supplicate to someone, this is ibadah, this is worship. And this should be done only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning that to go against that when you supplicate to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that this is shirk, that this is shirk, this is polytheism. So the Prophet sallallahu began his supplication with many, as with many of his supplications, with that ta'zim of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, exemplifying tawheed. He said, O Allah, I seek refuge with you from the withdrawal of your blessing, letting us know that the blessings are from who? They're from Allah Azza wa Jal. They're not from your your company, not from your mudir, your boss, not from your supervisor, not from your parents even. They strive to do good for you, to give you something and, 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 and take care of you and show concern and love for you. But ultimately, it's from Allah Azza wa Jal. The ni'mah, the ni'am, the blessing, is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this is spiritual as well as the physical ni'mah and ni'am that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you. So he said, Oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from the withdrawal of your blessing. So the blessing is from Allah. So we ask Allah to continue to give us this blessing and this reward and this protection and the change of your protection from me. And seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continually protect you. 
so that he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, doesn't remove his protection from you. And the way that you can remain protected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing those things he loves and avoiding those prohibitions, avoiding those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates and being of those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves by doing what he loves, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from the withdrawal of your blessing and the change of your protection from me and from the sudden wrath of yours. So also seeking refuge in Allah from his anger, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends wrath upon you, then you have no protection. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes his protection from you, you have no support. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes away his ni'am from you, then you have no blessings. O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from the withdrawal of your protection and from the sudden wrath of yours and from every displeasure of yours. So in the end of the supplication, the Prophet Ali is seeking, seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue to do have assistance in doing those acts which earn the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those acts which earn the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of us, we need Allah's love. We need Allah's protection. We need Allah's support. It's you alone who we seek help from. And it's you alone who we uh, seek assistance. It's you alone we worship and it's you alone we seek assistance. So we seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure in all things. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilm al nafiyah wa rizqin tayyibah, wa amal al and protect us and our families and guide us and our families. Protect and preserve our children and guide our children and bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.